Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a full factory reset on your Xbox Series S. This will also include Series X and also Xbox One. This is going to be really handy for those of you that are maybe trading in your console or maybe just experiencing weird glitches and problems and you want to do a reset. Now, there's going to be two versions of this in this particular video, plus, there will be an additional follow up video which shows you how to do a complete factory restore of your console if it isn't booting, that kind of thing which we'll be doing from a USB stick. So that is going to be in a follow-up video. Links for that will be in the video description below. So if you want to check along with that after, if this doesn't work, then feel free to click on that video. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at doing a factory reset on our Xbox console. Now there's going to be two versions of this, like I said in the intro. So the first one, is going to be options for if you just want to reset your system settings. So the console itself is a little bit glitchy, but you don't want to erase your content and you don't want to erase your games. You just want to refresh the system files, that kind of thing. But we will also be covering as well a complete full factory reset. Now the full factory reset will erase everything on the console and take it back to its factory defaults. So it will remove things like your game saves, profiles, applications, basically any user data on there whatsoever. So obviously choose whichever one is suitable for you. Something also to bear in mind, if you have perhaps multiple Xbox consoles, whatever you do on this console is solely for this console. All other things such as your game save states, programs, experience level points, all that kind of stuff will remain in your Microsoft account in the cloud. That is if you have cloud support enabled or if you're signed in with an Xbox account. If you're just solely signed in as a kind of a generic user, you don't have a user account, you don't have a Microsoft account, then if you erase everything on your console, most of those game saves, etc., will be removed as well. So do bear that in mind. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing you need, obviously, console on and your controller or keyboard and mouse. First of all, head over to the settings tab. So if you haven't got the settings cog on your window, just press on your gamepad and press the Xbox key and it'll come up with home settings etc. So we can go into settings that way. So press A to access settings, then scroll down from the top to system and then we want to go over to console info. Press A and this will bring up the ID of your console etc etc. Uh, I'll have blurred some of this out so it isn't obviously any user traceable information on there. Go down to reset console. Now don't be concerned there is a few more steps yet, so this isn't going to go ahead and do it. So you can press A to go into the next section. So now we've got three options. So the first one is reset and remove everything. So that is obviously a complete factory reset. So that's going to remove all your data, everything about you, and basically remove the console from your account, all that kind of stuff. If you just want to reset your system files, you're happy with your games, you want to keep all your save profiles, and you want to continue using the console, but it's been a little bit glitchy, then choose reset and keep my games and apps. Pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I'd emphasize the points there. So in this particular instance, we do actually want to erase the console back to the factory defaults. So for that instance, we're gonna choose reset and remove everything. Again, it's very obvious what it is. Do bear in mind also, like I said, any game save states that aren't saved in the cloud in your Microsoft account will also be erased. So when you choose whichever option you want, just press button A. The console will shut down. And then you'll see a message on the screen saying preparing console. Do be patient, just let it go on and do its thing. At this point, try not to touch the controller, don't touch the console, just let it carry on and do what it needs to do. This could take a little while, so we'll fast forward through most of this. There is an indicator at the bottom to tell you how far it's getting. If you're doing this and it gets to a certain point where it freezes, then potentially you might have a hardware problem or potentially there is corruption on the drive itself, in which case you're gonna to wanna to follow along with the USB restore version, which is linked in the video description below. And after a short while, you should come up with a screen which looks very similar to what you can see at the moment. So this is basically the initial screen, so you can turn it on your controller, and there's a strong chance that it won't actually work because it isn't synchronized, because it has removed all the data. So at this point, you could press the sync button and reconnect your controller, and go through and do the original setup as you did when you got the Xbox straight out of its factory packaging. So anyway, there you go. That is how to do either a complete full factory reset 
or to reset the system information and the system files, all those kinds of things. If there's anything that you've missed or anything you feel I haven't elaborated on, please feel free to ask us in the comments section below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.